here again, once again, and today, here we have the special, my guest special, which I'm so stoked that I found out about this. Now, what is it about the reviews on this season as far as I'm running this one? Transition the entire group into something else besides you. Uh, other than that, we have some other people inside of uh, some other things. Uh, one of my co workers, um, Real Roman, you will get the chance to meet him. Me and him will be working on a project with the Versus system. Hopefully, we get a chance to do that. But right now, right now, I never ask you Today, um, I'm as a fan. Nintendo. I don't know if y'all big on it. I mean, y'all made Pokemon a success. If y'all can give, like, Fire Emblem their own, you know, starter decks and stuff from various games or versions or characters, please work on that. Mother th um, uh, Earthbound, which I think would be a kind of very interesting TCG, um, for one. And then there's Final Fantasy. Now, I know what you and as you already see, this is Final Fantasy IX and Final Fantasy X. And today we're going to be doing a review on the world well, mechanics. So this is here's how the processing goes with me in reviewing uh, certain TCGs. First things first, first impressions to me are everything. If I see the layout of the map and I don't feel any familiarities to it, um... Such as, like, you know, Magic Gathering, Force of Will, uh, Cardfight Vanguard, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon, uh, even down to even most obscure, like, Zatch Bell and Naruto. I don't feel anything familiar from any of those. I'm, I'm like, I'm, not, not to be mean, I'm going to give you a negative point on that off of it, as a TCG. But, overall... We're going to get into mechanics, we're going to get into how the layout is, we're going to get out to the point system, even down to, uh, I won't get into the cards and mechanics, because, uh, like I said, I just found out about this TCG overall. I'm not doing a deck review, I'm just doing the TCG review of itself, about the TCG. Now, like I said, don't get twisted, our group is not going to be officially running this. This is just me doing a review. If y'all want us to run this, um... Be sure to let us know uh, in the link in the description to our Facebook page at Chaos TV on Facebook. Hit us up there and we will try to listen to your comments and reasons on why we should run this as well as we do with Yu-Gi-Oh! and upload stuff to this. If you want us to, for all y'all kids that want to know about this TCG or just the gaming franchise in general. But either way, like I said, I've loved, this, I've loved the Final Fantasy franchise since I fell in love with it. My first time falling in love with the Final Fantasy franchise was actually Final Fantasy VII, and I didn't play it uh, up until I was 13 because my mom didn't learn to let, um, well, she, she was very busy, and we really didn't have time to even sit down and play TCGs as much due to that. And, um, you know, we were, you know, always studying, more so or less. But when I got a chance, it was fun, it was adventurous, the stories was good. Um, the characters my, made various opinions through other people, but it was decent. And I've been a fan of Final Fantasy ever since. I've played Dissidia, Dissidia 2. I have played through 9 halfway, but I didn't get to finish due to personal reasons. Um, I am currently going through Final Fantasy 4 for the remake for the DS that came out. I'm playing it on my new 3DS, actually. Um, I played Final Fantasy Explorers. It's a decent um, MMO-esque, Monster Hunter-esque type of game. It's really fun. Um, I wouldn't really invest a lot of time in it. It's something that you can just lay down and come back to whenever. But other than that, let's get into the mechanics, the, the overall everything about this uh, TCG itself. 
So, first things first, here we are. We have the mat that comes with every um, Final Fantasy uh, TCG starter deck. Um, I'm not going to be using this deck after this point because I'm already using a mat, and it's a Card Fight Vanguard mat, which is a decent size. And speaking of Card Fight Vanguard, let's go over to the first things first. We have the deck at the top. This is where you sit your deck, and the deck I'm going to be using for the examples for this TCG is going to be my Final Fantasy IX deck, which features my boy, uh, my OG number one, well, right after Cloud, um, uh, right, right, right after Cloud, when I first got introduced to Final Fantasy, um, is my boy Zidane, big salutes to you, big bruh, number one, baby, Final Fantasy IX, I'm sorry, everybody just wants to say, oh, Squall is the beast, and Cloud is the beast, I'm sorry, I'm always going to throw Zidane in the conversation, I will be that jerk. I would be that troll. Anyways, we got the break zone, which is basically like the graveyard, discard pile, you know, stuff like that. Um, we got the back row as far as like magic or force of will, if you're familiar with that. Car Fight Vanguard, uh, that's where the backups go. Um, if you're familiar with Car Fight Vanguard, uh, they're also used to produce crystal points if you're uh, familiar with force of will and magic the gathering or, you know, dual masters, uh, basically. And then we have the front forward zone is basically where your monsters, uh, characters, which are forwards, go here. And they basically block and attack for you um, and all that good stuff. Basically, like Car 5 Vanguard, Magic the Gathering, and so on and so forth. Um, speaking of Car 5 Vanguard, we have the damage system. Now, unlike Car 5 Vanguard, where you deal 6 damage um, to your opponent, uh, you have to deal 7 and one of the mechanics are going to be very similar to uh, Card Fight Vanguard in a way, and you'll see uh, as we further go into this video on how, like, you know, critical triggers, you know, triggers like that activate and stuff. Uh, but other than that, here's how the map works, and uh, this is what it looks like. Now, I'm going to pan over because I'm going to take this mat out the way because just, uh, this is just to give you a scope of where stuff is. So remember, break zones right underneath where the deck is. Back area is basically where you keep your uh, uh, backups. F uh, front area is basically where you keep your forwards, which are the only cards that can attack, which I'll show you what they look like in a few minutes. And over here on the side is the damage zone. All right, let's get it. Now, I don't know how the mechanics go, but from what I know is you draw each player draws six cards. So it's kind of like magic. I think the person that goes, I think, last draws seven. But here's how your hand should preferably look like when you play. Um, as you see, there's a lot of Final Fantasy IX characters and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go give you a rundown of the different types of cards. Now, like I said, in this game, you need basically mono or crystal points to produce or to be play monsters. And, I mean characters. And characters are basically these, which are forwards. Uh, you can see right there it says the word forwards and they go into the front area. Uh, right up at the top corner, right over here, <clears throat> at the, uh, at <clears throat> I think I got something stuck in my throat, my bad. Uh, my apologies, I got something stuck in my throat. Uh, at the left, top corner, my apologies, top left corner is the cost. Now, just because it looks red and has a 2 does not mean it's just 2 regular mana. The color of the stone indicates what stone you need. So basically it's kind of like magic the gathering of force of will. You need just as long as you have one of, just as long as one of the uh, colors are a fire uh, produced um, uh, <clears throat> backup and you use it to produce a crystal point, it counts. Now there's two ways you can produce crystal points in this game that I believe that I've researched. And I'll get into that as well. So we got the forwards out of the way. And also, forwards are the only cards right here that have, you know, uh, basically a power. This is your basically your power right here. Um, you defend with it, and you also attack with it. Just to be a reminder. Also, it's just like Magic the Gathering. Say if a uh, card deals you a thousand, um, he's only two thousand, so he'll be like one thousand until the end of the turn, and we'll right back to two thousand. So it's basically all that, you know. Then we have the uh, the, <clears throat> the 
the base of the crystal producing cards, formerly known as backups. Now, backups, unlike any other character card in this game, do not have an attack power or power at all. Um, <clears throat> also, they do have a cost as well. Um, certain uh, cards you can only play one backup once per turn, and when you do, you have to bring it, uh, put it in dulled. Uh, so basically, I guess it counts as one crystal point. I believe that's how it works on the first turn, or you just bring it in dulled and you have to wait until you next turn and you activate it. This is this is what activating is means basically standing up your. your backup basically and then we have summons summons are basically like quick play spells also there's another uh, little tidbit if you take damage and you just uh, seem to flip up a uh, uh, summons and you put it over the damage zone it acts like a critical trigger like card fight vanguard uh, the effect still activates regardless uh, basically draw two cards then discard one card from your hand so blase blase and that's about it. And just like most of the Magic Gathering, every uh, card has an ability. Certain types of cards, like you know, Bravery, uh, First Strike, or something like that, they all have it. So that's that's one thing that, that you guys find familiar. So I'm gonna show you how the whole turn goes down if I can do this right now. Let me know if I am doing this right because I spent literally hours upon hours watching videos and um, you know basically doing my research on this TCG and hopefully I don't butcher it too bad because this is one of my favorite gaming franchises and I really want this TCG to pick up really badly. Now I'm not going to say I'm going to be running this stuff on my channel unless you guys want to and then I have to talk to my group. So I'm not doing this by myself. We as a community, as a TCG chaotically community, we have to chaotically come together and make a decision on that. So like I said, you see the link down in the description on my Facebook, uh, about my Facebook page, hit me up. So what you do is, you on the first turn, you produce, uh, come in dull, you produce one crystal point, alright, you can't really use it, and I can't really summon anything. Um, but what I can do is, I can take one card from my hand, and produce one, at least two, uh, two crystal points. At this point, I can do whatever. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pitch uh, Steiner, or Steiner as I pronounce him, so he's pronouncing, and, and Garnet, and that produces four. I just brought out, and that allows me to summon to uh, Quina. Now, Quinna is a uh, 5,000 power forward, uh, basically has an effect. Uh, it has a special ability as well, called Eat. It says, for each card in your hand, Quana gains plus 1,000 power. Eat, special ability, choose one forward uh, opponent controls which has been, which has been dealt damage this turn, if that forward has a special ability or an action ability, break it. So basically, if there's another card on the field that has a special ability or any kind of activated ability, I can, and if I already dealt the damage, which I'm going to do a lot of it because I have two cards in my hand off the rip. So that's, he's at, he's going for at least 7,000. And the thing is, the only bad thing about it is every character, unless it has haste, um, has battle sickness. So basically, the, the energy system in this game has a sickness, as well as the um, character cards, I believe. Uh, if not, let me know in the comment section. So let's say it goes around the next turn. Stand him right back up. Draw. Throw crystal unit. Pitch him, summon V. 
Viva. And then I uh, then I can swing for five thousand basically because he can't attack because he doesn't have haste. And basically vice versa. To take damage, basically, say if I took damage or keep my opponent attacked me directly, I take the card, put it over there, so he attacks me again, flip another card over, sit it right there, and there you go. That's how the whole entire thing goes. Now, this game seems very, very complicated, and I will admit the learning curve to this game is not that huge, it's not that difficult as a whole. It's a very good TCG, and I really, really like it. And I think that, you know, as a Final Fantasy franchise, you really don't expect much. You you, you expect a lot coming from a TCG uh, with this kind of caliber, because it's basically carrying the Final Fantasy franchise as a whole. And it's really, really good. It's a really solid game, and I think, you know, we should try it. But, you know, that's my opinion. But other uh, than that, yeah, this is uh, basically the whole rundown of the whole entire thing and what the game is about. Well, overall, this um, TCG as a whole, in my opinion, I, I really, as a fan of Final Fantasy um, in general, I really want this TCG to pick up at least... For a while, I really want this uh, TCG to pick up. It was really interesting when I got a hold of this stuff. My friend told me about this. Uh, I was stoked because I was like, oh my god, they're actually making a TCG out of another video game. And I hope it picks up a decent fan base like Pokemon did. But like I said, Ed, I'm not going to really hold my breath on that. Um, like I said, I did uh, get Final Fantasy X. Um... I will be having one of my friends uh, do guess, I guess, a couple episodes of Top Down Throwdowns. He will show you how these deck works, and I'll do deck profiles on these starter decks as well. <clears throat> to let you know, is it worth it, or should you just individually build your deck up online? Um, as far as anything, the starter decks are pretty good. They got some very starter decks. They have Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy X, VII... Uh, 13, uh, I believe, Type 0, or I believe what it's called. Uh, they're really good decks. Um, the Final Fantasy 9 deck, starter deck, is like Fire and Water, and the Final Fantasy 10 is, uh, uh, I think, Wind and, uh, Wind and Water, which is a really interesting combo. Uh, overall, this is a really good TCG, and like I said before, I really hope this uh, TCG picks up somewhere, um... And to be honest with you, I know this may seem negative coming from me, and it might be backwards, but it's going to take a really serious Final Fantasy Square Enix fan base to severely pick it up in the U.S. And I want, I, I, I don't know how, but if any of y'all are into Final Fantasies and y'all want to get into TCGs, go for it. Uh, post up on our Facebook videos about it, your deck profiles, whatever. Anything to promote this TCG because I, I, me as a Final Fantasy fan, I want this TCG to thrive. Force of Will is my jam. Like it replaced Magic because it was cheap, and no offense to Magic, Magic was like my first love outside of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. And this just came in and just like it just. I, I know, I know, it may come first, but I'll be the first one to say it. Nostalgia goggles like slapped it right on my uh, face when I seen these two starter decks sitting in uh, my local uh, card shop at Wizards Wagon. If you guys are in the St. Louis area, head down to the Loot, check them out. They got really great deals, really good stuff on TCG stuff. As if you're not into TCGs, they got figures, figurines, which we also do reviews on on this channel as well, and various other collectibles like mats and stuff like that. So. Uh, enough plugging that. Uh, check out, check this stuff out on Amazon. They got plenty of star decks on Amazon as well for this TCG. And I really, really hope this TCG does pick up. Uh, as far as anything, in my overall opinion, if you, my review over this TCG, I say get it. Start a small group. Uh, it ain't gotta be a big one and just go ham. Go, go ham. I, like, you don't understand. I am a, I'm a huge fan of Pokemon, and it takes me a lot to just deter from Pokemon TCG. 
And I rarely even upload any content about the Pokemon TCG. But when I seen this, this grasped my attention. Like, fully grasped my attention. And I really think this TCG should really kick off. Like, here in America, of all things... Especially when so many fans get uh, gotten their feelings when the first Final Fantasy game came out and we all found out how, you know, Japan really thought about us. Y'all gotta take up in arms and really get into this TCG. Like, make this a thing. I know Force of Will's dying out, and I know I, I, I had high hopes for Force of Will. I really did. I really, really did. And that's so, it's so sad how, how badly that TCG is dying off. And hopefully we can bring back the love of the Versus system along with this. But like I said... We do plenty of TCGs from the most popular to the rare and obscure to like Zatch Bell and Naruto, like I said before, even down to the Mega Man Net Navi stuff. Yeah, I said Man, Mega Man Net Navi even to the last Airbender TCG as well. But other than that, this has been my review of the TCG that is known as Final Fantasy. If you guys have any opinions or any ideas on how we could, you know, promote this TCG at any given time, hit us up on our Facebook page at Chaos TV. You can contact either me or the other two head, uh, head members of Chaos TV, Dragon Elder Ray and Prey Mark 9, uh, as well as myself, your boy Chaos. But other than that, it's me, your boy Chaos. And I just jumped out to Chaos to give you this awesome TCG review. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get this uh, TCG up and running. Because I, I really want this TCG up and running. That and Force of Will. If anything, we need to do Yu-Gi-Oh, Force of Will, and Final Fantasy. I don't care. Please, help me. Help us. Help y'all promote this TCG out there. See y'all kids around.